Hello everyone, welcome to Tech to Tinker. My name is George. In this video, we will talk about the dual motor driver with ESP32 using MicroPython. What I have here are dual motor driver module included in Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. It has six sets of pin headers, which are two sets for the left hand side motor, another two sets for the right hand side motor this and this and this and this are basically duplicates this is quite useful in case you have one motor for each wheel or four motors in total and in case you only have two motors set up just like this toy car you will only need one set on each side and another set of pin headers is for the motor power supply, which is basically connected to the external power supply, which is delivered to the ESP32 shield. Be careful of connecting the motor power supply pins, because if you accidentally connect it to ESP32 pins, you might produce a magic smoke coming from your ESP32. And another set for the control pins, this side, which have the pins as follows G and D, which is connected to ESP32 ground for the common ground, VCC for the supply voltage of the dual motor driver chip, in A1 for the input control pin for motor A, which is connected to GPIO12 here, PWMA is connected on GPIO13, A in 2 is connected to GPIO14. BN1 is connected to GPIO26. PWMB connected to GPIO27. And BN2 connected to GPIO32. These pins are selected because they don't have initial uh, default value during boot up. It doesn't produce any PWM or goes to logic high. It automatically starts at logic zero. In order to follow this lesson, you will need an ESP32 development board, a Gorilla Cell ESP32 shield, a dual motor driver, a joystick, and of course, some DC motors. I am not sure if DC motors is also provided in the Gorilla Cell ESP32 development kit. So, for the sake of demonstration, I will use this toy car. Now, for the software part, I prepared here to example source code for this demonstration. For example, number one, let me click the run button to execute. And we will use the REPL for this demonstration. I made some notes here at the bottom part of the example source code. So we can move the car forward using this function call. I will hit enter or move the car backward using dig move backward or stop the car using this function call. There is another set of commands at the bottom which is for controlling the motor speed because for the function calls with prefix of DIG or digital the PWM control signal pin is always logic 1 while here it is controlled using PWM so let's use the PWM move forward which will use a PWM duty of 700. Let's call again the move forward, but this time let us use 300 as its PWM speed. And as you can see, the motor rotation is slowed down. I think we can push it until 250 
which works exactly the same for the move backward. And to stop the rotation using PWM, we can send a PWM move stop, which will turn off the PWM control signal. Here, which will provide a PWM duty of zero, which is equivalent to turning off the PWM signal. Now let's go to example number two. Let me click the run button to execute. Now when I move the joystick upward like this, the toy car will move forward or moving it backward. If I initially move the joystick forward, then I turn it going to the left, the right hand side wheel should turn only. Or I can move it to the right, which will move the left hand side wheels only. Or if I initially move the toy car in reverse, and I move the joystick to the left, it should go to the left right and the right hand side wheels rotate likewise if i move going to the right the left hand side wheels rotate so that's pretty much of it i hope you can learn something from this as always the source code that is in here including other information can be found in the companion blog post for this video Tech to tinker.blogspot.com. Links in the video description. If you have any question, please write your message in the comment box provided. And if you enjoyed this video, please do like and share so that it can reach more people who might benefit from this. Please don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because I will be uploading more videos like this in the future. Thank you and see you next time. God bless.